So here's the next episode of the PBL series, and this episode is going to be pretty short. I'm just going to cover a few algs and some applications. So the first alg is pretty simple, it's PJPJ, and it's when you have two corners swapped on top and bottom. This is when it's in front, and this is for the back. So usually for here you do JJ. So actually you'll notice it's pretty similar algs here. So here's PJPJ. Again, so it's pretty, pretty similar to the, um, the JJ Alg for the back. Again, so this is pretty similar to the, the back JJ Alg. So the next is PN, PN, so it's what it looks like. Usually here you do NN, but here we have opposites, opposites. So these are pretty much the same case, but from different angles. So if it's like this, you'll do this. So again. Pretty simple and pretty similar to PN. I mean regular NN. For this one, you can just do like UD and then do it, but from this angle, you can do it like this, so like this. So again. So we covered PJ, PJ and PN, PN, which are just modifications of JJ and NN. But for JN, the modification is a bit different, it's going to be F, V, usually it's a pretty bad case, but for here you can just do this, so. So again. It's V, F. For the mirror, it goes right down, you just go like this. Again, um, you hold them both with the F bar on the left, preserve this block. So yeah. So you might be wondering what um the PJPN alg is. So there's no like really good way to do this. You can do a setup into a PJPJ, uh, which is a bit slow. Here's an alg for it, but it is a bit long compared to other ones. So this one is with the PJ on top, PN on bottom. Hold them in the back, the corners of the PJ, PN like this. So it's like this. It's pretty long, but it's actually pretty fast. So again. PJPN for the opposite. Um, you'll do this. So PN's here, PJ here. Again. So that's PN, PJ. So now I'm going to go with um, applications of these algs. Um, I'm not going to go over all of them, but I'll try to go over the easiest to recognize and most basic ones. So here's TT. We can do this with two CP algs, or we can force a double a uh, good U-perm. But the best way to do this, uh, for now at least, is uh, you would see these edges here and these corners. So you can do a PJ, PJ for these corners. And as you can see, this empty them too. So that's pretty simple. We can also do this with the F perm. So this one's a bit worse. You can only do JJ into W perm. But the better way to do it is the opposite, opposite, PJ, PJ. So 
It doesn't really matter what order you do it. But this solved it. So this works with any combination of T perms and F perms. So for example, this one, we got F on bottom, T on top. Um, we can just do PJ, PJ. Move the bottom layer and we can get up, up. So continuing with the PJPJ applications, we have R perms. So for R perms, it doesn't matter um, what order, of course, you do the PJPJ and the adjacent adjacent. And it doesn't matter what R perm you get, either one's fine. So PJPJ, adjacent, adjacent. Also works with JJ, so this one already has an ALG, of course. But you can do it with two algs if you want. So PJPJ. And then adjacent adjacent. So this is not really useful in solves, but you can use this to solve cases with J perms and R perms. So I'll give you an example of that. So here's the example. Um we got R perm and then J perm. So we need PJ PJ. Adjacent adjacent. So PJ PJ. Adjacent, adjacent. So here's some more applications of PJPJ. PJ. Here we got double E perm. Here, 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 here. So as you notice, we can do a two swap here and two swap here, and then two swap here, two swap here, and that solves it. So PJPJ PJ first in the front. And if you notice, we got we just have PJPJ in the back. So really easy. Uh, you can do this with one E perm as well. It's a bit weirder though. Um, you want to do a setup move like this. And you got these corners after you swapped, so move it like this. PJ, PJ. I can just undo the setup move. So yeah. You can also use PJ to solve A perms. So here's an A perm. We can switch these two corners and these two corners. And these two and these two. So this also works with E perms, with A perms. So we got an A perm on top, E perm on bottom. For the bottom one, we're gonna switch these two. On top, we're gonna switch these two. We got these two here and these two. So it works with um, A's and E's. So lastly, PJ PJ can also get you out of bad cases. So here's C C perm. This one is pretty bad. We're gonna do PJ PJ to get into W perm. So if you do JJ, you're gonna get a pretty ugly PBL. But PJ PJ get a nice W perm. Similarly here, if you know square one, in this case is not the best. Adjacent here, opposites here for the J. But if we do PJPJ, PJ, we can just go into a U perm. So you can, use, you can also use it to get out of bad cases. So now for PN applications, we have Y, Y perm here. So if you notice, switch these two and get PN, PN. So we'll do that here on the bottom and on top. So adjacent here, adjacent here. As you can see, you've got PNPN. Same application with the V perms. So, adjacent here, adjacent here. And then we can just do this. PNPN, and we're done. Of course, this works with mixing both of them. So, here we have YV. So, we do adjacent here. Jason here, and we get PN PN. Pretty simple. So PN PN also gets you out of some ugly cases. So here's a PBL. There's parity on both layers. If you do an NN, we get a pretty ugly PBL double open. Uh, what we can do here is PN PN. 
you get a much better case um, ZZ. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, pretty short, but I didn't want to go into two complex cases. So stuff like VF have a lot of applications that are a bit more complex that I'll go over in um, other videos. So yeah, thanks for watching.